a coach is one who walks with a business person yeah. and makes sure they get to their desired destiny. As a woman in business, yes. what would you say was your most important or the most impactful leadership lesson that you've learned? Life is a process. Yeah. Let's not do everything as microwave. Mm -hmm. you know? And then the other thing is that in every person, there is an ability that can be developed. There is an idea. And mm. above all, if you stand up mm. and you want to solve a problem in the society, we're going to pay you up. Just ask yourself, what is the problem around me? Yeah. Solve it, you get your money. Okay. When you start your business, you don't stop there. We yeah. say, improve your business. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what is it that you have that is so unique in your business that you make somebody leave your shop and come to my shop, you know? Exactly. What is your business proposition? Hello and welcome to yet another episode of The Millionaire Mind. My name is Turi Faye. Now the focus of this show is the contribution of women in business. And for us to keep making further strides, there's the need for mentorship. And there's the need for somebody to hold your hand. A, guard, a guardian angel, if I may say. Yeah? And joining us today, we have... Uh, what's your name? Yeah. You could introduce yourself you, and tell us what you do. Yes. Yes. Yeah. My name is uh, Dr. Jane uh, mm -hmm. Kehio, mm -hmm. and uh, I am a business coach. I am a trained teacher, mm -hmm. and I've rebranded to a business coach yeah. through a training by International Labor Organization. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. So what exactly would you say is business coaching? What is the meaning of that? Yeah, business coaching is basically uh, a mm -hmm. walk. You know, coaching, you got to really work with somebody. True. Uh, in other words, we call it business mentorship. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm offering uh, business uh, development services mm -hmm. at uh, Equity Group Foundation. Mm -hmm. And what I would say is that uh, a coach is one who walks with a business person yeah. and makes sure they get to their desired destiny. Yeah. Right. So how exactly does that come into being? How do you identify a client? How do you identify somebody who actually needs the guardianship? Do you go to them or do they come to you? Yeah, both ways. Mm -hmm. Some will actually come over and tell you we've had, like for example, they show. Mm -hmm. Some will see us talking and they will desire to have a business coach. Mm -hmm. Now, s I, w I want to first of all put a disclaimer and say many people do not know that there's need for a business coach yeah. because they think they are okay. Exactly. Maybe they started their business by default and they think they are doing okay, mm -hmm. so they don't need a coach. Mm -hmm. But it's not until they know the advantages of having a business coach mm -hmm. that you can engage one, mm -hmm. you can either bring yourself or join an organization that mm -hmm. can actually get your business coach. For example, yeah. right now I am uh, coaching for Equity Group Foundation. Yeah. And whoever I'm coaching is, the, is, is actually the customers of the bank. Yeah. There's, a, there's a program uh, that is called Young Africa Works, where they look at business people that are upcoming, mm -hmm. and they're able to help you come up in business. Yeah. And part of what they do, one of their strategies is to get you uh, a service in, de uh, in, in business. Mm -hmm. They call it BDS, Business Development Services. Yeah. Right. And what exactly are the advantages of having a business coach. Wow, very, very good. Yeah. I will approach it from the international organization approach. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a research that shows that many, many businesses that start by default, yeah. you just, uh, you're out of uh, fourth form, mm -hmm. you've done your exam, and you decide you want to open a business, or you, you have some money, market, you decide yeah. to just venture into business. True. Now, it's so surprising that some of those businesses where people are not trained or coached, they don't see their second birthday. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Yeah. By second year, they're dead, mm -hmm. and yet you, inv uh, you invested, invested your money there, and by year two, they're dead. But um, international labor organization has done a, re a research that shows that uh, mm -hmm. if you are trained or mm -hmm. if you're coached, then you start the chance of actually having your business succeed and see even fifth, tenth, twentieth birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and how exactly did you transition mm. from being a teacher? Because you said you were you were a teacher Very first, good. Yes. and then you became a business coach. How exactly was the transition into okay. this? Okay. Well, I would say that this has come up. You know, in business, we say that. Um, Everything is for sale. Mm -hmm. In terms of, you just have to seize the opportunity. Mm. You seize the opportunity and you're able to know where to place yourself. I would say that for me, I taught in school uh, with the Teacher Service Commission. Yeah. And then at some point I left and I, I also left because I thought there was a need. Yeah. And in business, it's about identifying a need mm -hmm. and being able to fulfill that need. We pay you for... For, for, for meeting a need that we have. Yeah. If we need bread and you provide bread, then yeah. we pay you. Okay, and <laughs> a bit into your personal life, because you are giving a teacher vibe, yes. what subject are you teaching? I was teaching English and literature yeah. in a girl's school. Uh -huh. 
and I realized that uh, many, many students actually would come into the school mm -hmm. from uh, primary, the transition from primary school to high school. Mm -hmm. Then at some point, they would feel like they are a bit confused. Yeah. Then I did a bit of another research that after fourth form, mm. do they feel like they are still okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get out uh, of form four and uh, they will get their A or their B. Mm. But then they will behave like they're also a bit confused yes. because the world presents more options. Mm. But um, I realized that I wanted to also get to understand what are the more options they are in life mm. so that I'm able to coach them and coach people to get to their desired destiny. Exactly. Right. And business coaching, <laughs> would you say it's a new phenomenon or is it something that has always existed? Yeah, in the past we had um, we had people who would work uh, with each other, mm. like if it's medicine man, they mm. would work with... Apprentice. Y yes, yeah. the, the apprenticeship. Mm -hmm. They would work with uh, people mm -hmm. and if, uh, if, if, if they go to, to, to the forest, then they show you the best herbs. Mm. So it used to happen, only that maybe it wasn't uh, branded and so-called business coaching, but it yeah. was. And there was it no has always money been there. From and actually, it. I want to surprise you that in Africa, it mm. has always been there. Yeah. Whereby even uh, aunties would teach the young girls that uh, if you're making pots and there's a, a pot market somewhere, you know, then uh, all you, it's milking and mm. how to sell the milk. It happened unconsciously. We call it. Uh, mm -hmm. We call it. Uh, it's, it wasn't very intentional. Yeah. But for for the for the business person today and the coaches today, it's mm -hmm. very intentional. We now tell you. This class is about um, business coaching. Exactly. But it used to happen unconsciously, it yeah. would happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when you're starting the business, mm. is it an expensive venture mm. or is it something you, you can actually do very easily without having a lot of capital? into the business yeah you really don't need too much capital mm -hmm. but i would also say it depends on what kind of a business you want to start mm -hmm. now the good thing about business coaching is that we train you from the word go where you start yeah. you see the confusion about how much money do i need mm -hmm. or i don't have money for my business mm -hmm. the confusion or the excuse comes because there's no coaching mm -hmm. for example at the international labor organization what i've been trained to do is to do four things mm -hmm. for any person who comes to me whether it's you whether it's a student who just cleared campus or whether it's a high schooler or it's somebody who was so unfortunate and went to Saudi Arabia got some money as a, from house helping you mm -hmm. know if you come with your money I don't tell you first invest mm -hmm. I'll take you to class yeah. and this is where we start yeah start your business exactly. how do you start your business mm -hmm. we take you through four steps mm -hmm. so that you can tell where your money whether your money is enough or not enough mm -hmm. we'll take you to a class called generate a business idea mm -hmm. that's the first step mm -hmm. generate a business idea step two start your business yeah you see in generating your business idea we help you do a business plan be able to ask yourself the necessary questions what is your market what yeah. are you targeting where do you get your product mm -hmm. you know we shall look at all those things and then we shall help you start your business mm -hmm. with the amount of money that you have and when you start your business you don't stop there we yeah. say improve your business mm -hmm. what does improving your business looks like it looks like you keep your business records we'll teach you about uh, how do you market your business? Uh, how do you network with other networks? How do you keep the best business records that are quite relevant? What is your value of proposition? Yeah. So what is it that you have that is so unique in your business that you make somebody leave your shop and come to my shop, you know? Exactly. What is your business proposition, you know? Uh, and then we shall teach you expanding your business. Uh -huh. And maybe I can add here, Madam, that uh, mm -hmm. people, some people think they don't need business coaching because they think they're doing quite well in business. Yeah. But it's not until you know that your business could expand. Yeah. You look like you're doing very well, but you can improve your business. Mm -hmm. You can actually expand that business. If it was one shop, you could have a chain of uh, shops, especially mm -hmm. when you go through this training. Mm -hmm. And so we are not underestimating the, the, the need for training mm -hmm. so that people know how to allocate their funds without making it, uh, 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 without just uh, an assumption, you know? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, teaching yes. and mentoring yeah. does not come very easily to a lot of people. Exactly. Um, I, I'd even like quote myself, yeah. you know, I want to do my thing yeah. as I'm doing it and I don't want interference from everyone else. Yeah. And anyone who actually like wants to learn like, okay, how did you do that? Yeah. Sometimes it's, it comes off as annoying and distracting yes. and everything. Yeah. So what are the qualities that are needed for somebody to become a business coach? You, uh, in terms of the fact that you become a business coach or you get one who is coaching you? Or just you, you uh -huh. yourself. What are the qualities ah, you say about good. you that now, make you a business coach? For anybody to be a business coach, mm -hmm. The first thing is that you have to be very intentional. Mm -hmm. That you want to help people. Yeah. As you say, it's <laughs> not easy. Yeah. Because people will ask you, 
I think I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I don't need your help. Yeah. But it's not until you tell them this is where you would need help. Mm -hmm. So you need to be a very patient person. Yeah. You then also need to be a very informed person mm -hmm. because you go to people that are have a turnover of millions or billions. Mm -hmm. And so they will wonder what advice you can give them. Yeah. But it's not until their businesses are sinking that they know, get to know mm -hmm. that it's too late. But you need to be that kind of a person mm -hmm. that is able to help people see the big picture in business. True. That you can start well, your business could go up to 10 years when you're still doing well, but on the 10th to 15th year, what would happen? How can you see the pitfalls that could come? For example, COVID-19 mm. was a big pitfall for no many business have people. Seen that coming. Many never saw that coming. But if you've been through with a business coach and a business coach who is patient enough mm -hmm. helps you get that extra eye yeah. to be able to see what would happen if my business wasn't doing well, yeah. what would happen? Yeah. And therefore, you need to be the kind of a person who helps other people see from your point of view. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. they are able to see what you can see. Mm. Otherwise, if they don't see what you see, they would go to uh, the coaching part of it i'm speaking about seeing what you see yes. you know, a big part of your your profession yeah. is advising people what to do with their business yes. and how just strategies and how to make it successful yes but what if mm. this is i'm putting it out there what if um what would be right for them goes against everything yeah. that you actually believe in like you yeah, it's, it's conflicting with what you would do personally, yeah. but it is what would work for them. Okay. How do you navigate that? Now, the thing is, when you get to people's businesses, you don't go to dictate. Mm. You walk with them on a journey. Yeah. And it has to be from known to unknown. It has to be from their point of view. Remember, it's not your business. It's their business. Mm -hmm. So when you get to their business, you only help them be able to identify gaps. Mm -hmm. And you take them through a discussion so that they're able to see that gap. Can I give you an example? Yes, please. I was mentoring uh, one, one lady mm -hmm. and uh, her business did have a name. Mm. So I asked her, uh, who, who, when people are coming to your shop, or if I want to send my child to a certain shop, mm -hmm. where will I tell them to go? And I, I was able to work with her on a journey to say, really, she doesn't have a business name. And so we needed to brand her, mm -hmm. her, her, her business. Mm -hmm. And it's not me to tell her the name. I asked her, what do you think uh, you want to call your business? So she said, uh, I think I'm a hustler. And I want <laughs> to call it Hustler's Cave. Yeah. So I said, are you able to ha get somebody to write that? Yeah. And indeed it was written. So I asked her after a few days, what has been happening? Say, hey, people are calling me and asking me, hey, Cave, Ikonawatu, eh, how, how is the hustler's cave? You know, mm. things like those. And people are, were able to locate her business yeah. after she named her business. Many people will underestimate the name for a business. So I was asking her, you have a name. Mm. Your name is so-and-so. Exactly. But your business doesn't have a name. Imagine if your TV station didn't have a name. Exactly. How would, how would I have people gotten here? Where is yeah. even the pin to your business place? Because we can't, where is the location for your business? Mm. And what is the name for your business? Yeah. So uh, you work with people, mm. so you don't dictate, but they see the need for a business name. Yeah. And once they do it, they fill one gap, then they have the confidence to fill another gap mm -hmm. that is in their business. Now, as a business coach, I must say, the training that I've gone through mm -hmm. helps me have that extra eye. Yeah. When I get to your business, I'm able to see a gap mm -hmm. that could bring your sales down, yeah. that could actually be a havoc, bring mm -hmm. havoc to your business. Yeah. So once a point, I point very wisely on this. We discuss about it and you are able to see what I see. Exactly. We see it together, yeah. we start uh, closing that gap together. Okay, right. and how do you go about, because I, for most people, yeah. uh, I think the problem is usually having all these ideas yeah. in your head, yeah. but you don't know how to translate it into an actual business and how to, ah. you know, bring it into something physical. Very good. So how do you transition with a person from this is an idea yeah, I have. Yeah. It sounds crazy. I'm <laughs> sorry, but this is what I have. Yeah. So how do you walk through that journey to it being an actual business? And I want to surprise you yeah. that many people, what you come to tell them, they say, oh, once I thought about it, mm -hmm. but I wasn't able to implement it. Yes. And I say, a business coach is here to help you turn your ideas into actions. Mm -hmm. And it is step by step. Because many, many people, in fact, when mm -hmm. you have the first class when you're teaching people on business and mm -hmm. you are telling them to generate a business idea, they'll come up with 20 business ideas. Mm -hmm. And it will be sometimes very hard for them to be able to say, I pick this one. Mm -hmm. But what happens is that what is in your mind when we discuss about it, we're able to say this mm -hmm. is action point one. You see, actionable. We, we actually uh, strategize on actionable things. We are able to say step one, step two, Step three, according to their capacity, remember you have to assess their capacity, you have to assess what speed of doing things th they have, True. and so you're able to take them 
according to their capacity the from step one, yes. step two, until they get there and they say, oh, it's a big picture now. Exactly. And I can see it clearly. Yeah. yeah. And as a woman in this profession, yeah. what are some of the challenges you've actually experienced? Well, some of them is that uh, sometimes people will wonder. Mm. Uh, for example, let's say I'm, 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 I'm coaching a man eh, who is seemingly very successful mm. in business. Sometimes they'll wonder, uh, because of uh, certain cultural aspects, cultural exactly. aspects. Yeah. What would a woman tell me about business? Mm -hmm. For example, you can imagine me coaching a matatu driver, mm. and I'm looking at his vehicle, uh, not with a policeman's eye, but with a coach's eye, yeah. and I'm saying that I think you need to do this. You need to put a speed guard. You need to do this. And they will wonder, what can a woman really tell me about my matatu I've been the driver here? Mm. And you, you got to be very bold, mm. and you got to let people see that it is for the good of their business True. that you are there and by the way in adult education we say people mm. will always ask what is here for me so if they know you're a woman and mm -hmm. you're there so that their business can do better yes. they see big sales they see higher sales mm -hmm. they see higher profits then they easily accept you even as a woman mm -hmm. but it's quite challenging yeah okay yeah so how exactly do you identify a client i think for the most part uh -huh people come to you yes but are there instances where you have to identify a business and you approach them yes. how does that happen sometimes mm -hmm. uh, for us we use the existing structures for example in the consultancy that i'm doing with the uh, equity group foundation mm -hmm. we are using their structure where they have their business people and these business people are already on business and their customers mm -hmm. and they need to be developed their businesses need to be developed so they already have the clients mm -hmm. and, and and so we work together on this process of being able to let them know you need uh, to be coached in business we take them through financial literacy mm -hmm. so they will understand that i need this yeah and and, and 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 now equity group foundation will give me as their client yeah. so that i'm able to work with them and not that we shall uh, we shall do it blindly we shall let them see uh, how the journey looks like mm. the journey looks like this that we work together we talk about your business we see the gap mm -hmm. it's very confidential mm. that i wouldn't even if it was your sister's business i True. wouldn't come to tell you that this is her monthly turnover yeah. i would it's it's very very confidential and yeah. uh, kudos equity bank because mm. they do it very very well yeah. and their clients receive a lot of help mm -hmm. from these business development services and you can actually attest to there are many testimonies of businesses that are doing very well okay. because uh, the existing structure helps them get it into a place where they're able to meet with a coach. Okay, right. awesome. Mm -hmm. And how do you put yourself out there uh, as a business coach? Because it's one thing to yes. do what you do yes. and love what you're doing, yeah. but people need to know who you are. Very good. So how do you put yourself <laughs> out there? Now, here comes online marketing. Yeah. Now, I would say that for business today, anybody who is in business today is either selling a product or a service mm. and for us to be visible uh, nowadays we have the online platform mm -hmm. which is such a plus yeah. by the way talking to business people out there if you're not conversant with the online platform mm -hmm. I think you're lagging behind because exactly. we aren't going backwards we are actually heading to a point whereby if you're not we don't see you online On there's social, no online yeah. visibility mm -hmm. if you ignore the social platform the social media platform mm -hmm. then your business goes down mm -hmm. so for me sometimes I will advertise like a program like for example if we are doing a training mm -hmm. I will let people know through my online platforms and they will get to understand mm -hmm. sometimes through referrals yeah you develop somebody so well that they'll want to talk about you and yeah. say please call so and so they can help you improve your business okay. <laughs> yeah and how does one implement the strategy you talk about into them now growing a business how does uh, that happen you see I said it's a walk mm. by then we call it mentorship mm. it's a walk in mentorship it's a walk we work with you and so if you're saying that we're gonna brand your business we're gonna do a name mm. then it means that we sit down and budget mm -hmm. and we'll be asking do we have this money mm -hmm. where are we getting this money from are we yeah. going to pick a loan from equity bank or whichever other bank or are we going to are we going to use the profits what are the profits you have in your in your mm -hmm. in your business would your business be able to fund the venture to improve the business and so it will be money like uh, or we will be advising you in your supermarket to install a cctv Mm -hmm. you know so we'll, we'll be able I'll, as a coach i'll be able to help you and be able to navigate with you mm -hmm. who are the best service providers for that uh, how would you be able to get it but you're the one once we do the budget yeah. you're the one to study for the budget and work at your pace as you mm -hmm. said and you'll be able to achieve that goal and you'll smile yes. at your branded business exactly. yeah and a big part of what you do yes. is you know the the burden of proof falls to you yeah and now you have to show proof of concept you yes. have to say I am a business coach because I have this and this and this business. So do you have a business that you use to tell people 
this is my business ah. it is thriving yes so at least i can tell you what to do with your business for it to thrive very good i am a business lady mm. because i also don't believe in uh in, in, in giving what you do not have true i also don't believe in uh, uh in preaching what water and take, drinking yeah. wine uh so i am a business lady mm. and uh I, I would want to say that there are many opportunities that mm. are in the society and in the life that we live in. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I said originally that uh, we pay you for the problem that you solve. Mm -hmm. One time, w I looked at the society and I realized that children, uh, sometimes parents uh, would want their children to do something extra curriculum from whatever they're doing in school. Mm -hmm. And so I came up with play items like a bouncing castle. Yeah. I invested in a bouncing castle. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what I would do is that I would locate places where this bouncing castle would work for children. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a birthday, yeah. then I'll tell you, can I bring the entertainment part of, your, of the birthday? Mm -hmm. So I'll do it online. And nowadays, by the way, mm -hmm. and I, I'm speaking to parents at home. Yeah. Nowadays, it's my son who is at the university who mm -hmm. does the bouncing castle. Yeah. It's not me who does it. Yeah. Because I said, I'm not going to be... Uh, meeting all your budgets. Exactly. Can I show you how to do it? Because this is a part, is a missing link in the yeah. society yeah. where I do a business and my children don't know what I do. And they don't know how to run they it. Is, yeah, they yeah. don't know how to run the business. So at some point I said to one, one of my sons that, mm -hmm. can you run this business while you do your study? Mm. And he does it very well. I only got him a premises where he goes and he gets the children. He has now known even how to pay it to them. Ah. He has even trained himself to be a swimming coach. Expansion. So of expansion the of the business. Yeah. And sometimes I ask him, Son, how was your Christmas day? Say, hey, mom, it was super. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and I would want to say to parents, let them learn to do business. Mm. Because part of why they also do business mm -hmm. is because of the mentality that only poor people yeah. will try to do some business. Yeah. But anybody else is in their office with a white collar job. Mm. But they're poor. You, you hear even this statement of the mama bogus, yes. the mama what. So it's like, if I, if like now today I wasn't working and I told somebody, now it's a sukuma mahali. As if it's a bad thing. It's yeah. not a bad thing. Because does the money say I am from a maboga no, or from a not. banker? Mm -hmm. It's the same money. We are looking for the same money, mm -hmm. the same transaction. True. And therefore, I would want to talk to people and say, mm. let your children also learn to do business. I do business. I do it in partnership with my children. Yeah. And sometimes very simple businesses, mm -hmm. I would identify maybe a product. Like sometimes I even sell uga. Mm -hmm. Uga that uh, will... Uh, has some healing properties yeah. because of the ingredients they are in. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just put it on my status and say, you need to buy some uga for your parents, mm -hmm. for yourself, and these are the quotas for the guy. This is what the, the ingredients, the, this is the recipe. Mm -hmm. And many people call me, Jay, please bring me five kg. So yeah. I'll, sell, I'll tell the sons, deliver that, exactly. deliver that. Yeah. So I can do it from the comfort of my office. Mm -hmm. I am doing my business online mm -hmm. and we're delivering. Awesome. Yeah. And I think the, the ma major problem facing the youth right now is unemployment. Exactly. However, as much as there's an unemployment, yeah. there's this face going around that there are numerous opportunities, yes. numerous business opportunities yes. out there. Yes. So why are these two not cutting each uh, other or solving each other out? I'll tell you why. Mm. Uh, many, many people uh, do not want to think, to extra think, mm. okay? And we are used to what we've been taught in school, and you just told you go to the university, you, you get your degree, you get yeah. a white-collar job. But I think we need more people saying that in case the white-collar job doesn't come by, yeah. you can still do something exactly. with the ability that is in you. I am also a pastor. Mm. And let me tell you, in the Bible, there is the, uh, the, 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 the issue of the talents that God has given somebody something. Mm. The, the parable of the talents talks mm. about the master gave them according to their ability. Exactly. And let me tell you, everyone has an ability. And here I can even talk to my fellow pastors in churches mm -hmm. because there are many, many people in the churches who will go to the pastor for help. Yeah. Yet they can do something. They have an ability. Mm. And if only they were trained a bit mm -hmm. they would use the ability to run a business True. and be able to get something even to get an offering to bring to the church yeah. so we're training people even in churches because there are opportunities everywhere you're asking how many opportunities there are yeah indeed there are as many as there are problems in the society True. there's mm -hmm. so many opportunities and you only need to identify a problem mm -hmm. and come up with a business the idea solution, yeah. and we train you uh, so that you can perform better. Exactly. And even by default, you mm -hmm. can still try solving that problem. Because mm -hmm. some people get into our training when they already have started their businesses by default. Mm -hmm. So we train them how to improve their business. Yeah. They already started it. Eh? Mm -hmm. So we are not taking them through starting 
uh, through get, getting a business idea. Mm -hmm. But for students who are coming from school, we tell them, sit. Yeah. Come up with a few business ideas. Mm -hmm. Let's navigate through yeah. and see what can work for you, what can work for the capital you have. Yeah. But for those that have already started, we have a program that says improve your business. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have business records, we introduce business records. Yeah. If you did have a, a value proposition, the people would say, we would go to these five shops, we come to your shop because there's something so special about your shop. Then we're able to help you get a value proposition for mm. your business. Yeah. Yes. And how long have you been in the business coach uh, profession? Well, I would say that uh, for my observation, all the time that I taught students in yeah. high school, yeah. all the time that I was in the NGO world, mm -hmm. and I would go to communities and find people that are very poor. Mm -hmm. You find a woman telling you she has not had food for her children, mm -hmm. and she's very healthy. And sometimes you want to ask her. Sometimes I would ask you women when they want me to just give them money. I say, would you come with me to my house and do some washing? Then mm -hmm. I'll be paying you. Mm -hmm. And you realize people don't want to do this. Exactly. So I also realized that uh, your own problems and challenges in life will push you mm -hmm. to do something because sure. you'll be so hungry mm -hmm. until you do something. Mm -hmm. And we are fighting with this, uh, even with laziness, because many people will also be so lazy to open a business mm -hmm. because they don't want to be committed. They want, they want to just to freestyle in life. And business is real commitment because a business is like a baby. Yeah. It has to grow. It has to grow from one milestone to another mm -hmm. for you to expand your business takes a lot of patience. And I think we need to say this loud and clear yeah. to our society that we need to, uh, I've observed this uh, through the time. Yeah. And maybe f for, for, for the better part of my life, yeah. I've been observing how people behave until I also got an opportunity to be well trained. Yeah. Because sometimes you see issues, but you don't know how to handle them mm -hmm. until you're trained. Mm -hmm. So when I was trained by ILO, yeah. by the way, it's a manual based, uh, ILO is, a, is, is manual based. Mm -hmm. where you go for a for a TOT training mm -hmm. uh, and in this TOT training they coach you very well yeah. you're able to train other people yeah. in business mm -hmm. by the nowadays we have the e, 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 e training for yeah. ILO mm -hmm. where we can train people online there are some people will be my class online I'll teach them how to generate a business idea how to start a business and how to improve and expand their business exactly is a serious concept yeah and as we are winding mm. up as a woman in business yes. as in we had such a fun talk mm. time has just flown <laughs> past imagine us. so as a woman in business yes. what would you say was your most important or the most impactful leadership lesson that you've learned yeah for me, the most impactful one is that life is a process. Yeah. Let's not do everything as microwave, mm -hmm. you know. And then the other thing is that in every person, there is an ability that can be developed. There is an idea. And mm. above all, if you stand up mm. and you want to solve a problem in the society, we're going to pay you up. For exactly. that. You yeah. get your money okay. for solving a problem. Mm -hmm. Just ask yourself, what is the problem around me? Yeah. Solve it, you get your money. Exactly. Right. And what advice would you have to that young person who's watching us right now yeah. and would like to you know, do something with their life? Yes, to this young person, I would say, do a bit of your self-analysis. Mm. Get yourself to a class where you can be taught about business mm -hmm. and start doing something from there, from your business idea. We don't get money fast, we get an idea fast. True. And the idea brings in the money. Exactly. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard it from the coach herself. You could do anything you want if you just put a little bit of will into it. And as we wind up, uh, where are your social media handles? Where can people reach you and yeah. you know interact with you? Yeah, maybe I could give my number for yes. anybody who wanted to have a personal, uh, uh, a personal, a personal business uh, coaching. Mm -hmm. Uh, I could give my number, and you can be able to reach me on my social handles. Oh, eh? seven two one. Five seven eight nine eight eight, mm -hmm. and I'll say it again. O seven two one five seven eight nine eight eight. Mm -hmm. Doctor Jane Ashao, mm -hmm. business coach. Exactly. Right. Thank you so mm. much, Dr. Jane, for coming to our show mm. and gracing us with your presence and your knowledge. We are better people yeah. after this conversation. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. And as always, we would like to hear your views on, on our conversation on social media at IbriTVKE, at on Facebook and on Twitter and Instagram at IbriTVKE. Kenya and 0770729366. My name is Turi Faye and thank you for watching.